Okay guys, welcome back to a new video. Uh, today we are checking out the fourth episode of Fist of Fathom, which is the Iron Bark Lookout. And yeah, so Firewatch, but as in horror game. So yeah, let's start it. Let's take a new game. Fist of Fathom, episode 4. Iron Bark Lookout, May 12. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fist of Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and abstract nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be, would be a dumb idea, because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson, had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific nor Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by, fo managed by the forestry service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest ac accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of finance, financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to, to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me, though, I, though since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. For real, this Neb music, the music in the radio that is made by Neb, is so chill. I love the music. Okay, let's see the messages. Where can I park my van? So you're arriving on a Friday. Just park your gay park. Fuck, I can't talk. Just park your truck around back on the gravel park by gate D, got it, and from there you'll be on foot, take the gold to creep tail trail rune, from there it will take you a couple of hours until you reach your tavra okay, got it, thanks you will probably see Billy at the gate, just hold, show him your ID oh, yeah, so this Kayla talked about the, this diner let's go
Please leave me alone. I guess I will. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good, how about you? Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. Alright, thank you. You look a little lost. I'm just tired. This place has some great coffee if you're into mood for one. As you can see, I usually go for a vanilla latte. So where are you headed? Starting my new job at a nearby state park. Ah, that's great. I didn't know this job still existed. What do you do? I work in finance. I'm a financial analyst for a big firm downtown. Do you like your job? Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. It keeps me busy, that's for sure. That's impressive. Yeah, I guess so. I can be a bit of a roller coaster sometimes, but I don't hate what I do. That's good. Good evening. Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? I'm heading up north to make a delivery. What about you? I'm a staffer at Ironbark State Park. So is it true? Uh, what? Whatever they say happened to those kids the other day. What? I need to go. Okay. Who are you? How's the food? You just stared at me. Bro is rude. And eating air. Why does one have a shovel and a bag and whatever that is? Kinda crazy, bro. Let's go sit here, so we can start that guy in there. <laughs> Enjoying your food, eh? <laughs> it's a shadow. Oh, it was just this person. Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes, I am. So what can I get for you today? Cheeseburger with fries, grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings, meatball salt with chicken nuggets. To be honest, I'm gonna take the sandwich and onion rings, you know? Would you like anything to drink? Well, the guy said coffee is good, so let's take that. Perfect, anything else? Um, that will be all, thank you. Great, I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good, appreciate it. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. Well, guess we can go take a piss then. This guy should go to the doctor or drink more because the piece is so dark. I spilled. No shit. Let's wash our hands now. And I guess we can go sit here. And wait for the waiter. Oh, we can take this. Look, 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 look. Oh, damn. Well, at least it's still like that, I guess. Oh, yeah, she's coming here. Look. And right now. Bruh, fuck it. Oh. What do we take first? The sauce? Oh, we can't. Well, let's take the sandwich. Consuming, yeah, it's so tasty. <laughs> I figured it would be a while before I had a meal like this again. Yeah, maybe. But now the onion rings. And oh, so did you end up going? How was it? I'm here still eating this so good. Well, let's drink the coffee then. I suppose. Tasty. 
Both your hee hee. This food reminds me. You sent me that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine. I was reading my text message. Fuck you. Did you enjoy it? Enjoy the food. Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else or should I get the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. And then you look at, wow, yes, I'm on my way home. Sent you in a bit. Okay. Oh, this is us. That's nice. So we are in Washington actually. Here's the check. Your total is six point six dollars. Let's let's give fifty percent tip. Generous tip to the waitress. Nice. Thanks for the generous tip. Yeah. Well, let's go. Please take a seat. I'll be right with you. Isn't it pretty quiet in here? Yeah, it's been like that for a while now. Ever since the highway by past the stand. Things have been pretty slow. That's a shame, it seems like a nice place. It used to be, but times change, I suppose. If you point me to the restroom, it's right over there. Thank you. I didn't, I didn't leave the op door open. Okay. And the guy with the shovel is missing. The door wasn't open when I left. Is anyone here? The bathroom door was strangely and okay. Seems weird. Let's go. I went very proud of my job. The fuck did I hit? 8 or 2 pm. We can take it. Oh. Yes, we can go. Oh, I left the radio in. Well, I don't think it matters that much. Wait, is that our lookout? Nah, it can't be. Flies. Go. Oh, fuck. Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. You scared me. May Lord have mercy. Okay. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? You are Billy, right? And the new transfer file look at. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Well, I see we are. Hang on, let me check on that. Okay. Okay, that, that first looks pretty... Hey. <coughs> okay pal, you are good to go. You are staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But here are your keys. Oh, the keys. Let me open the trail gate for you. 
bro just walk straight to the door what the hell since you're around this late you might also need this flashlight for the long height to your lookout thank you Billy you be careful take this oh take flashlight welcome to iron bark pal now for our purposes when you get to the Get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach our tower to while during your staffing. Nice enough guy. He will be your closed contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. Oh. Hey. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous wood that way, pal. Bob catch and bears. Nasty business. See you around, I guess. I thought he was trying to square me, but he looked dead serious. Yes, he did. A damn bad quality. Hmm. Well, I guess we need to go. Was someone in the forest? Because I heard the footsteps. There was something. 11.32 pm. Why are we arri arriving this late, man? I don't, I don't like this. It was a long hike and it was starting to get cold now. Yo, isn't that our tower? That's good. Tower 11. Frequency. Oh, right. Yeah, cool. Hold on, let me get there. We can- Oh, that's nice. I need to break the game at some point. <laughs> Caution. Non-ionizing radiation. No, oh, too bad. Gold Creek Trail, Lazy Trail and Tower 11. Yep, that is our tower. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. I like it. I mean, I could do it. Imagine being out here all alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. It's a generator. Let me turn it off. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. I must say that fire look at does not look very Cool. I mean, st shack. I ascended the stairs to the top of the tower. Oh, that's nice. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. Wait, is that the tower, was it Duella, that Connor was talking about? The Billy guy. Why can't I open that one fucking flap? This is annoying man, I need to open that. Oh, damn. Let's get inside! Cabin was filled with the aroma of food giving me a sense of comfort. Can we like... Yeah. Oh. I was finally in my new home for the next few months. Oh, it's bear spray. Oh. I 
guess we need to do some report thing. Radio equipment was sitting on a wooden table. There. Oh wait, we need the password. Request communication support, call John. Send photos to Mitch. Call Billy. Call John tomorrow 2 p.m. Ask for extra supplies next week. Oh, look out, Mats. Must follow these rules while occupying this tower. Lights out after 12 p.m. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. That's nice. Absolutely no quest in the fa in the lookout. Oh, that's sad. System password is iron bark and tower number, so iron bark 11, I believe. If you the generator routinely, update the reporting software routinely, no video games in the system, remember to call your sister station before you sleep. Okay. So was it iron bark 11? Oh, yep, I guess it is. What is this place? Hello there, it's Miley, your trusty virtual assistant. Here to help you make most of the most of your computer today. Oh. Plus drug media. Let's see the videos. Console. Ready to some digital magic with console type help. Okay. We got play. What is this? Oh, well, that's enough. I got an achievement. So it was this. Is this? I'm Connor, Fire Tower 12. I saw your light turn on. Thought I was going to be alone with you. You're never alone in these woods. I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Thank you, I suppose. So what is it? What? Your name? Oh, it's Jack. Jack Nelson. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? I'm just looking for a change. I'm a transfer from Iron Hunt. Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really tired. You got a fire going? Nope. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it. Thanks. Well, let's get the fire going. Oh, there Don't is no fire. Wood. Did you light it up yet? Wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. There's no firewood. No firewood? There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? The staffer who was in the lookout before you. She was... one gritty woman. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Okay. I'm gonna be taking that. Because I guess the shack is that thing. I don't want it. <laughs> hmm. Oh god. We need to get quickly upstairs, I feel like I'm going to die here. Oh. Need to light it up.
Oh. Bro. No, let me get to it. Better get to it then. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Yeah, I guess not. So it was the temperature, I think that's 44.1. I think that was used for the wind. 19 knots. Number of hikers assisted zero. Is it, is it cloudy? It's I I would say it's foggy if there is. Well, maybe it's mist. Well, I guess I'm Jack. Oh, weather condition is it? Is it cloud? No. Clear? Has to be. Yep, it was clear. You copy, new guy? Tower 11, copy. I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Don't want the you bed too. bugs bite. <laughs> Yeah, good night, can I talk to you tomorrow? That was it, can I go to sleep? Oh yeah, I need to close the porch, maybe, yeah. Why isn't here any, like, porch or something, you know? Kinda of pissing me off to be honest. Yep, yeah, all closed. And light off and Oh that's actually cool. That that seems so fucking cozy man. Well, I'm gonna sleep with the lights on. Just in case. Three twenty six AM. I don't like where this is going. Huh? I have to be. I have to be. On my first night be again. Being out of the cabin, of my cabin, gave me a strange feeling. Well, let's peace. Wait, is there a guy? Look, where the piece is going. A bit up there. That's a guide. Why is he looking at me when I'm taking a big ass piece? See, I need the binoculars. Where are they? Who are you? Tell me. Uh. No thanks. Can I sleep? Please. Night two. It's just you and the wind, and the time just melts away. And some coffee too. Oh, our PC has been on for a long time now. Yo, look this fire photo, man.
This looks good. Oh. Well, guess we are finished. Hey guys, you copy? This is Connor from Tower 12. You copy? Yeah, just a second. Hi Connor. Oh, guess we need to manage for a Connor. Tower 11, do you copy? Copy that Connor, what's up? Son of a bitch! Excuse me? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me have a look, I guess. Oh. The smoke was right indicative of gunfire. Yeah, as long as I can come there. You spot that white smoke up north? Yeah, I see it. It appears to be in the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Is it safe? Be alert. Carry your bear spray, and you should be fine. Do you have any other detail? No additional information at the moment. Just follow lazy trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. Okay, heading north, I'll report back on it. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Over and out. But didn't Billy or whoever the guy was to not go north other than was it half mile or something? Well, I'm gonna take the first light just in case. Right there. What if I wanna go there? Can I leave this place? I was on the yeah, I cannot leave. I was on the wrong trail. No shit. Come on, bears, you ain't gonna catch me. Oh. 8.37 p.m. Oh no, I don't like to have this gun. I followed the trail that, that led me to the smoke. I'm leaving. I could just turn out, I had to check the source of the mob. I don't want it! <laughs> I love Jen. Cool, no camping. She gets the best head. Okay. Didn't need to know that. Oh, we have a signal. Oh no. Oh no. Guess we can put the fire out. Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> Who's there? Anybody there? I, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I'm not... Yeah, no thanks. Uh, no, 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 no. I heard footsteps. Somebody's following. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't check the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Yeah, I see.
Put it in the shack. That don't look good. Yeah, nobody's inside. Here at least. Oh, let's report to Connor. Tower 12, do you copy? Hey Connor, do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? Talk about campsite. Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? What are you talking about? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Damn. Anything else you notice in those woods? Well, there was a <laughs> scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. Well, it was a manly scream and not a lady-like scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Oh, so kids went missing in that About a month area? ago, they were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. Well, what happened to those kids? We don't know. Their parents said some whistle let them off the trail. It's unbelievable. That uh, the guy or thing in the forest was whistling. They had to be connected. People have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. Yeah, I see why. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Okay. Oh, okay. Sometimes I only wish they were true. Damn, Connor, what the fuck? You weird. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. Yeah, well, that's unsettling. You guy, I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Oh, absolutely not. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Give me updated, Connor. Will do. Over and out. Over and out. I, do I need to do this report? I feel like I do. Oh! Wait. Yeah. Yeah, we can make some pizza, pizza pasta bake. So uncooked pasta. Is it? Yeah, it's this one. I got there. Some marinara sauce. You make. I you know that. Yep, it is. Pepperoni. Is that pepperoni? Yep, it is. Mozzarella cheese. That seems like some. I guess it is. And there's tomatoes. Oh, it's some cold. Oh damn! Oh, yes. I guess that's done. I threw the fire. Yes, I did. Oh. You guy, you there? You guy, you copy? Yeah, I do copy. Connor. Good job. Hope they can track them down and give them peace of their mind. Yeah, I'll cool. We'll keep an eye on things from here. You stay vigilant for such smoke moving forward. That's the duty I chose. Speaking of duty, I don't see your name here. Did you report for the night yet? I was just getting to it. Better get to it. They didn't sound to be in a very good mood today. Oh, you 
got it. Show you what. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thank you, Connor. Over 12, signing off. Over and out. Good night, Connor. So, 48.9, that's on the year. Is it windy? I guess. No. Is it cloud? What? Oh, it is. Nice. Yes, fine. I like eating a bit. <laughs> Do I need to get a fire going actually? Maybe I should, just in case. I just realized I noticed somewhere because I've done I've used the same asset but in Unreal Engine bro what the fuck that's nice well, that's it in paranoia hmm did some good pizza past the bake I was already full, huh? Well, uh, <coughs> I don't know. What if I put it in microwave? Oh, I can't. What about oven? No. I could have kept it. Oh yeah, fair enough. Maybe now I can sleep. Two twenty seven AM. I was woken up by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. What the fuck? There was something very strange about that bit. Make of it at the moment. What? 
the only logical thing I could think of was to contact the Connor. Yeah, well, I know what that is. Connor, do you copy? I need to talk to you, it's urgent. Hello? Do you have any idea what time it is? There's something eerie about this place. Now you're starting to sound just like Marley. What is it? Well, that's called. Tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these people messing around. I suspect that's what Marley got tired of. What if this is not a prank? This feel like, feels like a, some real ritual. Let's not get carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. Alright, here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. It'll be morning before you know it. <sighs> Gotta get some sleep, Jack. Over and out. Oh, good night, Connor. Connor didn't make any sense. Yeah, I know, what the fuck? Can I take it? Oh, no, I can't. Ah! Oh. Good enough. Let's get some rest day. Night dream. Next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. There is something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 PM. So I need to clean this, that's cool. Oh. What was that? Like a flare gun or something? This is Jack Tower 11. Oh, thank goodness. I I'm lost and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. Take a deep breath. Okay, okay. <sighs> What's going on? I I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. A and now it's dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think I think I'm lost. Uh what equipment do you have with you? I have a flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. Uh, can you describe your clothing? I'm wearing a red jacket, camo pants, and a green backpack. Why is your current? What is your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Can you describe your surroundings? I'm surrounded by trees, and I remember passing a small stream earlier. Uh, what direction are you facing right now? I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank goodness, I see it! See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Well, let me scan the map and get back to you. Do we have a map here? Yep. Shut up. Uh, I'm just going west. Where is he? Similar. I'm just so anxious. 
anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Please help. Come on. I don't know. I'm just gonna say left. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right. Ha! I knew it. I thought I looked familiar. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. You're welcome. I'm right here. Uh, what? I hear you. Defo not. I hear your whistles. So whistling again, this ain't no good. But that's not me, cause I'm in my tower right now. What? What? I see you behind the trees to my right. But that's not me. You're freaking me out. Holy moly, what took you so long in there? Uh, yep. Yeah. I've been knocking for hours. I was asked, asked to check in on you. What were you up to? Uh, I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour, may the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. There you go, I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north, why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. Well, I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh lord, have mercy. Again. Nasty business up there, pal. Bob, cats and bears. Yeah, we know it, Bill. Billy. Whatever. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal. And there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention you'd be quite the distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely, it's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything alright? Well, that's call. Oh lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of before cleaning up? I didn't think about it. You know, it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies. Which I'm coming with you, Billy. Let me take my flashlight. Where my flashlight, man? Where is it? Uh, Billy. I was too hungry. Oh, man. I so... I can't leave. Sad. Food was still heating up. Oh yeah, the report. True. Twenty-four. That's a lot. I must. I must say. Oh. 
24 and 54.8 and reported by Chuck nice oh you Connor you should just report for the night night shall you it was getting cold I thought I would get wood stove it no thanks do I really need to go down there because I don't want Oh, fuck you. You just gave me a heart attack. I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. What's your name? Names can be deceiving. Call me Silas. That's cool, Silas. What are you doing here? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I would say hi. Thought I would say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. Nice to meet you. Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reaches the right places. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. Fire risk. Fire dish risks are high this season. Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn, and no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled no matter how, how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing. A way for the land to purify itself. Well, I'll see you around, Silas. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember... Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Very well, Jack. Wait, hold on. This guy looks like the guy from the diner, don't you think? With the weird rope. She, it's all connecting now. Yep. That's the guy who was whistling. And the guy at the diner, and probably the guy that was in our RV and also the guy who set the things in there oh fuck I see the smoke coming out of your tower don't tell me you're not in there new guy you there? no I lost my matches yeah, yeah. you copy now right here Went down to get firewood. It doesn't exactly take ages to get just some firewood. Ran into the radio tower worker. Ran into who? The guy maintaining that nearby radio tower. <sighs> Is this about yesterday? What you mean, bro? You trying to yank my chain now? Huh? What you mean? That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. Well, uh, that's nice. <laughs> years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems and its repair cost was deemed too costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. Yeah, well, he knew my name. Knew your name? You think he's been listening? I'm not sure. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information, or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Sure. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Well, good night, Connor. Tower 12, signing off. Over and out. Good night, over and out. Well, I guess we can go to sleep also.
My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. The strangeness I had seen so far in the woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. 9.18pm. Sure. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Thanks for letting me know, Connor. So, I believe it's our own console. Five four eight seven seems cool. Oh. oh, power was out. No, I don't like it. where is this going. Where's my flashlight? Yep. Fucking run. Oh wait, do we need gasoline? I'm gonna take that with me. I don't wanna fuck this up. I really had to pee before going back. It was going gold and I had to pee. One week later, time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I would do is check, on, check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. 2.34 AM Copy. Right here, Connor. Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Let me have a look. I didn't know what to make of it. Well, that's a cult. Only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. I guess. Oh, let's take a photo. Wake up, obvious. <gasps> Shit. No. My god, you fast as far. Smash.
I have to make a run. Run, Jack. As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing Dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going to going camping soon, please be safe. Well, thank you guys for watching and yeah, this was the first episode, fourth episode I mean. Of Fiesta Fathom, and we might be getting the fifth episode next month. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video, I believe. <laughs>